Yeah, so I, I'm basically, uh, I call myself soul relationship coach at the moment. Um, it has changed a couple of times, but my tagline and a pod, I started my own podcast uh, nearly four years ago now, actually called the Never Settle podcast. Um, because I am passionate about people not settling in their life, settling in their relationships, settling in their career, um, because that was me uh, quite a few years ago. And so I started this podcast really with the idea of um, producing content and knowing that I wanted to do something for myself in terms of my own business. And because I was working in corporate at the time, I've worked in corporate sales over 20 years. And then in 2020, like a lot of people, I got made redundant and um, it, it basically gave me the kick up the arse that I needed to go for it, you know, in terms because it's actually divinely orchestrated. 24 hours after finding out I was being made redundant, I'd already been invited onto this webinar, which was asking me to consider to be becoming a founding facilitator for something called Ultimate Contribution Uncovered. Um, so the people that invited me, I knew anyway, and I've got a lot of respect for them, um, highly, <clears throat> highly like them, highly respect them. And for me, it was like, wow, okay, 24 hours. Uh, this is definitely a sign for me to actually, as I always say, put my big girl pants on and just go for it. And um, so the ultimate contribution pathway is all about people being able to discover their true core values, not from a list of 50 that a lot of people just do and say, oh, yeah, that sounds about right. That one sounds about right. There's a, there's a lot more to it than that. Um, and it's all about somebody's unique life experiences. And then they're able to create a heart-centered, purpose-driven vision and mission for themselves and produce goals and next steps from all of that. So it's all basically coming from the heart and who they truly are. So the authenticity is 100%. So that sort of started me and it gave me the comfort to do it because I was surrounded by other people doing the same thing. Uh, and then as a result of that, I've sort of evolved with my own coaching. And I was focusing just on women for a while. And more recently, I decided that the universe kept telling me I shouldn't be doing that. And so I started to focus on men as well. And actually, it's the men that seem to be very attracted to my message right now. Um, and that message is basically going from feeling trapped and unfulfilled in your relationship to true love, passion and purpose. Um, because quite frankly, that was me, you know, I was lacking that passion, I was lacking that purpose in my marriage, in my career. And I know what a difference it makes when you basically start shedding the layers, Catherine, as I'm sure you're well aware of what that feels like, um, and start stepping into your authentic, true self, which for some people might sound a bit like oh, new age, airy fairy, whatever, but it's not, it's like, if you're not showing up and being who you truly are, so many people are living the life that somebody else expects them to be living or they think somebody else expects them to be living, you know, like and putting everybody's feelings before their own, their wife, their husband, their kids, their parents, or everybody's feelings get put above your own. And it just creates a very, very miserable, unhappy existence for a large part of it because and maybe you don't realize it, but there is this discontent. There is this darkness in you that you can't quite put your finger on. Um, and the other thing is fear. Fear keeps people stuck in those situation, situations, you know, fear about finances, fear about hurting people. All of this is very relevant and very valid, but ultimately it doesn't allow you to live the life that you were, you were here to live. Um, and that's what I'm passionate about.